Hey, what you doing? How you doing today? Are you good? Are you real good? Welcome to another episode of What's in the Box. This is stuff we were, holy shit, what the fuck is going on there? Oh, one thing that I don't like is like those old people that have the gray, big old long freaking clash things going. I gotta get that shit trimmed down. James, go get the hacksaw out for that crap. Welcome to another episode of What's in the Box. This is stuff I'm gonna be listening to today. And if you watch my other videos, you know what I'm about. If I, you haven't watched the other videos, then you don't know what it's about. And you can go back and look at them. That's why my shelves are clean. Er, and I'm getting that all organized for myself. For my own mental health well-being, surrounding me with the good stuff that I love and not the stuff that I'm selling. I have no emotional attachment to. So they're going in a box and they're going up box by box by box. So this is some of the stuff I'm going to be listing today. So we're going to go through this box because I need to reverse it anyway so I can get to the bottom of it. So that's where I start on my drafts. Yes, yes. You see what I'm saying, G? What's up? These are all closed, it appears. We've got... A vintage Alton Bell Casino sweatshirt. A local-ish uh, casino. Boink. Let's move that out because my stack's going to be going there. What do we got here? Manure Movers of America. <laughs> it's pretty funny, don't you think? Another sweatshirt. Cool. These all came from the uh, Goodwill outlet. So they average, my average price from the Goodwill outlet is about 40 cents now. They raised their prices again. Uh, so it's about 40 cents an item is what I've got into each of these. Here we got a nice Cardinals Mirage jersey. This is nice. Nice material. Nice heavy duty. So that's going in my store, urban-picker.com. Like and subscribe if you're watching this for the first time because, because, just because, man, just be nice. Just be nice. Why don't you like and subscribe and just be nice. Is there anything other than that? No, just be nice. We all need nice people in our lives, right? Be the nice person in my life, please. Do my eyes look, do these glasses make my eyes look big? Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Museum in Cleveland. Pretty spiffy sweatshirt there. <clears throat> if you like the hall, or if you're opposed to it, then not so much. An all blues Cardinal shirt. Pretty spiffy, huh? If you like the Cardinals vintage too. The older tag on it. <clears throat> Let's hope I'm going in the right stack here. We got a Steelers t-shirt. I usually grab all sports related stuff. It's one of the biggest industries, man. The sports related stuff. So I always grab all sports related stuff. Calvin Clyde jeans, little woman's long sleeve t-shirt. <clears throat> Let's see what we got. Crisp days, harvest, autumn, fall, my favorite season. So I always grab everything fall related, autumn related, Halloween related. That's a woman's long sleeve. Here's Vern. Whoops, I'm sorry, mister. Aww. You just popped up out of nowhere, didn't you? That's Vern. Vern. Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute, isn't he so cute? He just wants lovin's. He just wants lovin's. That's all he wants, right? You're getting slobber all over my chair, mister. You must just drink some water. All right, just don't get it in here. Just don't get it in here. You want to watch? We got Tommy Hilfinger. Long sleeve. Hilfinger. Hilfinger. <laughs> Hilfinger. All right. Hi. How's my baby boy? Always grab all Christmas related, winter related items also when it comes to clothes, snow days. And I know I'm going to put my hand in the slobber <laughs> or my elbow, I should say. Snow in love, another one. 
pretty simple. Some of you probably don't waste your time with just generic type of stuff. Cool winter shirt. These look like they're all women's. But I do, because I've, I've been doing this 18 years. And for me, it's not about what I find that day. It's about building the store, keeping common bread and butter stuff in the store at all times. So I do a consistent dollar every day and then build on that. So keep calm and it's prom. See, generic stuff like this, I've actually have customers who come in just specifically for those shirts. Uh, one in o Ohio and one in Florida. And they'll come in by 10, 12, 14 of those shirts at one time from me, you know, for eight to $12 a piece and boom, gone. So the more I have, the, the more often they come back. So I try to keep that kind of stuff in stock at all times. Thumbs up Planet Fitness shirt. I'm not sure about that. I, it's just, we'll try that. I like trying new things. And for 40 cents a piece, you know, you can experiment and try new things if you track your stuff and what you sell. Uh, some of you have very low listings, so it's not hard to track. I have around 21,000 right now, but I track it all via categories, store categories, where I can go into what sold last month, pull up just my t-shirts, look at what sold, look at how much sold, look how much I spent on t-shirts, etc. I'm not arguing, I'm just explaining why I'm right. Another one of those common t-shirts that one of those two people will probably buy from me. Hanging with the peeps, another common And common stuff you can get constantly, all day, every day. So, blown away tour for Carrie Underwood. I always grab all music related stuff. I worked in a music store for what, ten, nine years. So, I love music related stuff. That's what I wanted to do as a kid. I wanted to work in a music store, and that's what I did for nine years until I started this Hard Rock Cafe in Rome. Uh, just a little polo jeans common t-shirt. Hopefully there won't be a phone call to turn this phone off and I have to start another one. All right, big dog, mind your own business. In my mind, you're blowing me kisses, I should say. It's common stuff, common stuff, but Common stuff gets me just as excited as collectible stuff. Seaside Florida, Frostbites. I usually grab all kinds of uh, restaurant related, anything like that. One of my biggest things I love is when I find something that nobody else has up on eBay. It might be a, the last one was a, I think a sh it was a car dealership somewhere in Illinois. It was a hat. And the woman who bought it from me, her husband was either the son or the grandson of the former owner of that dealership. And she was, he had just passed away. She was extremely excited to find that hat to give to him. And I get stories like that constantly, at least once every week to two weeks, I'll get a story of an item somebody bought that they can't believe they found, whether it was a, uh, a uh, trailer uh, company in a small town in Missouri to a uh, a gospel group from like the 50s where the person who bought it's grandmother or great-grandmother used to be her group, all that stuff. And I sit on it for a while, but I get the most reward when that stuff sells and I get that email that says, thank you. I love that. And that's just another... Uh, layer of the business of the common shirts of the collectible stuff it's just kind of many vast layers and you never know which day that collectible item is going to sell that $200 shoe or you know that $200 CD or that $500 this is going to sell and you never know what day you're going to sell 
a $20 small item that you were just waiting for somebody, that one person to find, sells and sends you that story. So each day is like an adventure. Plus you always have your common stuff, your bread and butter that brings you in that same amount of money every day. Gives you that peacefulness of the bills will be paid, blah, 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 things like that. So every, every day you got a little pop of uh, excitement to add to that. And it's, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, this is a cartoon, Bob's Burgers. I'm always going to be a kid at heart, so of course I grab all cartoony stuff and a lot of stuffed animals. I'm sure you'll see in one of these videos, you'll see some stuffed animals, some toys, things like that. I got crabs from Dirty Dick's Crab House. Anything restaurant, I do. Another cardinal shirt. I think my goal, I thought about this the other day and I need to look. I'm going to be the, I want to be the biggest uh, St. Louis sports used retailer on eBay. And I've got a lot. I haven't checked around to see who else does it. But I would be surprised if I'm not in the running right now. I've got so much. Dune Dog Cafe in Jupiter, Florida. More common stuff. Love it. Official baseball butt inspector. <laughs> Another one of those shirts that will probably be bought by my Ohio, Ohio, Ohio customer. Star Wars Night at Bush Stadium. Cardinals related, Star Wars related. Can't go wrong there. Finally, after the 52nd year in conception, the St. Louis Blues, the winner of the Stanley Cup. How beautiful is that? Finally, that's the only team, the only sport I follow year after year after year. I've only missed a handful of games in like the last 30 years that they've played. When I'm out of town on vacation, I find a place to watch. Nowadays, it's easier because everybody's got it on apps. So it's a whole lot easier. I can just watch it on my phone or computer. But before, I used to have to go around and find sports places that will play it and watch it there. Home of the free because of the brave. Hi, Courtney. Here's Courtney. Let me get you Courtney if you've never seen Courtney. Hi, baby girl. Hi, baby girl. That's some stuff in your eyeball. That's my baby girl. Miss Courtney. I grab it. All things Disney. All things Disney. I can't wait to see what this one goes for. Elvis Costello. Pretty cool. Not an actual tour shirt, but an artist shirt nonetheless. Browning. Stuff usually does pretty well. Pretty okay-ish. Yeah, here. Snake River Pale Ale Brewing in Wyoming. I always grab all alcohol related items, especially if they're little mini breweries. Oh, you're gonna fall. You're right, girl. It's not gonna fall on you. Born Fly. That's the actual brand, too. All right, what we got here? 50 years of the Blue Angels. Anything aviation related, I grab. No matter what it is, hats, shirts, the, that stuff. Usually the collectors of aviation items, especially Cessnas and, you know, private planes, people's got the money to spend to buy it. And they'll pay the $20, $25 I ask for, and it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. You always got to have those little niches. If you're build, if you're trying to build, just now building an eBay store, get into niches. Uh, you're going to put in a lot of work. I, like I said, I've been doing this 18 years. I've got about 21,000 items. I just ended like 12,000 items that just have been sitting forever. 
or that was low value. So I ended all that and I'm relisting what's worth, what's not, I'm doing lots now, et cetera. So you always got to do little niches. I mean, I'll, I'll put in 12 to 16 hours a day, almost every day. So you're going to put in time, but there's nothing better than the peace of mind of working for yourself. Stay in the home. I got my dad here, 82 years old. I have to watch over him. Jan's been, my wife's been going through a lot of health issues. So I can stay here and watch over her when she needs it. Right now she's got a broken leg because she fell down the steps. She's blind in one eye because of her autoimmune diseases. Uh, PG, which causes holes in your skin to open up and you can see muscle and everything. So she has that, which constantly, you know, it's come back about, she's had about four holes in her body. Uh, and plus with that comes, you know, I think it's rheumatoid arthritis she has. Uh, now she has, uh, what's the latest thing? Right before she fell down the steps, broke her leg. Uh, Crohn's disease. So it's just one thing after another keeps piling up. So she's doing the Humira, which is supposed to keep all of them in check. So we'll see how that works. She just started that. She just took her second uh, injections on that. So we'll see how that works. Now, so hopefully that's good. Some people call me Welder. Most important, call me Dad. Another little generic shirt. So, so always, if you want to do this full time, you've got to put in the work. You can't. The hardest part about working for yourself is getting distracted and not keeping focus. Those days, it's the hardest for me is when I have to keep running out of here to take care of my dad, take care of my mom, and then I got to you know vacuum, take care of my mom, take care of Jan. Then I got to vacuum the house and do some laundry and clean up after my dad, wipe down the counters, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's very hard for me to stay focused. So that's one reason when I say 12 to 16 hours a day, that does include me running out, maybe making a 10 minutes vacuum sweep, uh, you know, whatever the case may be, making my dad some food, getting Jan something to eat. So it does include me going in and out. So that's why I do that. But I have to take that, make sure I can get there. Everything's caught up. I'm like, okay, I need to focus for two hours and knock something out here and there and we'll do blocks of that another corona another alcohol related item so but always find little niches and just build a whole bunch of little niches and you'll have people that come in for those niches and once you get enough of them you're going to have your steady income constantly uh, whether it's the people who come in and will buy you know 20 cds from me to add to their collection 20 cassettes 28 tracks 20 albums uh, 15 shirts, 12 shirts, uh, you know, and then you got your little surprises thrown in your collectible stuffed animal that just brought you $25 or whatever the case may be. Uh, Kiss Alive, the only bad thing is somebody cut this shirt up. It would be good. It's good. I'm probably going to have to cut down the price because instead of just cutting it up, they cut Ace Freely out 100%. You can't even see Ace's face anymore. So it's probably going to take it away. Somebody did a custom little number. So I'll, I'll, I'll put it up as a custom Kiss t-shirt. And we'll see what that does. I probably can't ask full price for it. Because his face was gone. If his face was there, I'd actually probably ask more than price of one selling perfectly. Just because it has custom touches. And I would market it as such because probably the person who's going to buy that shirt is not going to be a person who listens to kiss they're going to do it because that's the end thing to do now is to vintage concert tees and stuff like that so that's who's going to probably buy that shirt somebody who probably can only name if that one song by kiss so i'll get the money for it via that way so at the gates another band shirt And then we got the last two coming up here. An older Mickey and Company sweatshirt. Always look for the older tags, Mickey and Company. And then last but not least here, what do we got? Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. I always try to get all kinds of the tourist e-t-shirts. 
another niche, if you will. Uh, so yeah, build niches and, uh, you know, don't be afraid of fees. I see a lot of people that, you know, they talk about, you know, their fees being X amount of this, X amount of that. But here's what you need to do is keep track of your niches. Um, make a category in your store for those niches. I have, you know, t-shirt category. I have a new and used t-shirt category. Hats, new, used uh, hats. And you can break it down every month. At the end of every month, I do my numbers. I see, okay, how many hats did I sell? Does that dollar amount equal or am I making money basically? Is it covering all the, the listing fees, et cetera, et cetera? If you're covering the listing fee in each little niche, you're doing good. Don't worry about the fees. Uh, if, you're, if you're worried, that's, that's the way to get around worrying about fees is building niches and keeping and tracking those niches month by month by month. Uh, you know, if you, like alcohol, if you got all your alcohol related stuff into one category, and, you're, and you see a lot of it, and you're grabbing a lot of it, make sure you're making money on it. Uh, I like to be making huge numbers on my stuff. You know, if if my uh, listing fees for alcohol is $10, I want to be making $500 on my alcohol-related stuff. So got to look at it with big numbers because you got all the fees and stuff of when it does sell to take into consideration and stuff so that's build niches keep track of those niches every month and you'll do fine maybe i'll do a video at one time showing how i do that but until then you're gonna get these what's in the boxes because i can con consistently do these without it annoying me because i need to restack the stuff anyway to get to the bottom of the barrel so see you next time check out my other videos if you have not uh, put my links below you can follow me on instagram facebook and then you can subscribe here on YouTube, et cetera, et cetera. So thank you. And hopefully I'll have a lot more and I'll be a lot more consistent now. I should, I should, I really need to. I haven't had my my YouTube uh, uh, monetary thing in quite a while since I stopped doing shoe videos. So hopefully I can get enough uh, watches on these. So please actually share these videos. If you don't mind sharing them, and uh, getting them out there more. I'd like to get my YouTube revenue turned back on, give me a little bit more income, and help me out with all the medical bills that's going on with uh, my wife right now. So that'd be nice, even if it's a little. So I'll just get something turned back on. So thank you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, sharing, everything. Thank you. See you guys.